the doctor told me that it was a stage two B, HER2 positive cancer. I was gonna need chemotherapy and radiation. The thought of waking up and finding my hair on my pillow was, um, it was just too scary. So Edwina did some research and came across a device few Americans are familiar with. It's called scalp cooling, and it has a high success rate in preventing hair loss during chemotherapy. If you cool down the hair follicles, their metabolism slows down, so they may be less sensitive to the toxic cell killing effects of chemotherapy. The blood vessels actually get narrower and you deliver less blood to the hair follicles and therefore less chemotherapy. To help hair to stay raise money for scalp cooling subsidies, salons across the country are hosting Salonathon fundraisers on May 12th, the Saturday before Mother's Day. Participating salons will celebrate mothers and help cancer patients save their hair by donating proceeds from their services and product sales that day. When I first heard about this um, movement, I said, wow, we have to get involved and we have to get a lot of our friends involved too. When my mom went through it, we didn't even know it existed. So it's about awareness, it's about raising money, it's about getting the money to the people who really could use getting this uh, in their hands. My name is Stephanie Abrams and I produced this video. I also used scalp cooling when I went through chemotherapy for breast cancer last year. Keeping my hair enabled me to continue working during chemo and maintain a sense of normal during one of the most trying times of my life. Please participate in a salonathon. Working together, one day of donating can help thousands of women look in the mirror and see themselves, not a bald, sick person, and help give them the confidence they need so badly as they fight this disease. For more information or to sign up, go to our website, hairtostay.org.